what were you before you were Catholic? So before I decided on Catholicism, ooh, I actually made some progress there. Um, I tried a little bit of everything to try and find what religion was true I, w- I was seeking answers right that's that's why anyone becomes religious is you're looking for you're looking for the truth you're looking for an answer you're looking for what what is there to life is there a purpose to life is there a meaning to life you're, you want to answer those big questions right so I decided that the only way I can answer those questions is if I try every religion right like it makes logical sense to say that I can't say this religion is true if I haven't haven't done it, right? So if I try everything, then I should know the truth because I've tried it all and I know what is actually true. So I went through a period of time uh, where I tried a whole bunch of religions. I tried Buddhism. I got really into Buddhism, uh, you know, trying to, to trying to learn from the the different Buddhas, trying to learn the different uh, mantras, trying to learn the the way of life and, and live as a Buddhist. And that wasn't for me. Um, I tried different forms of Christianity and those, uh, I, so here's my problem with most of the other forms of Christianity and why I chose Catholicism was that a lot of forms of Christianity to me seems like people just want the really easy answer of just saying, I love Jesus. Jesus loves me. So that, that, that's it. I am saved. I don't need to work hard. I don't need to do anything. I don't need to be a good person. I don't need to grow in my belief. I don't need to learn anything more my love for God is enough and that's all I need. And now I'm going to go back to, you know, doing all the terrible things that I do every day because I'm already saved. And that is, that's all there is. And I know that happens a lot with like, um, people who've gone to prison and they like, you know, people who've committed murder, but they become like a born again. We're like, well, I, I love Jesus now. So that, that murder is gone. It, it's there's it's such a deep and complex thing to me it just seems like a cop out for someone to say well i don't go to church i don't read the bible i don't know what it says but i love love jesus so i'm saved and i don't need to do any more work and so a lot of the really like lukewarm christianity didn't appeal to me either and then and then i tried satanism and that i know that's like going to be like what you're catholic but you're also a satanist like i i definitely explored both forms of Satanism, both uh, theistic and uh, what's the other one, uh, non-theistic uh, Satanism, to, to truly learn, and it was appealing. There was a lot of appeal to Satanism because the the tenets of Satanism is a lot of taking care of yourself, not being pushed around, making sure that you get yours. It's it's a very it's selfish, but it's not, and so it made sense to me. But at the end of the day, it almost felt too easy to me it felt wrong there was just something something missing in it and then that's when i tried catholicism and that's when i was like this is this is it this is the truth to me this is difficult this is something i'm gonna have to work at this is something that's gonna force me to grow this is a relationship that requires work there's going to be pain there's going to be suffering there's growth there's passion there's so much to it that that's how i knew like this this is the one for me um, because after trying all those other religions, there was always something missing from it. it was either too easy or there was just something, something wrong about it. But when I tried Catholicism, I, I just knew right away. I was like, I know it, this is right. And to be honest, the signs were always kind of there. Like the Catholic art always appealed to me when I play like Dungeons and Dragons. I always wanted to be like the paladin, the knight in shining armor, the Templar, like 